to assess what they've given us. Well, it's not adding too much more. We kind of saw Jamie before fleeing what happened in the last movie, and we did see some shots of Michael in the fire. Why? No clue. And why he's not catching fire, why his costume's not on fire, etc., etc. The mask on fire, not clear. He's just, I guess, immune to fire. All right. And we're getting this crowd being riled up and they're going to go chase down Michael, which is fine if that's going to be the story, which I reported on a while back. They're going to do something on vigilantism. But if you know horror movies, they kind of pulled this trick already with Silver Bullet by Stephen King. If you know your horror movies, they've been down this path before, so it's nothing really innovative. I will say, though, Michael looks great. The costume looks amazing. Visually, it looks very inviting. And so it does look really, really good. But in terms of Michael, I guess, going back to his old home, they've already done this in other movies, so uh, it's not very innovative. Probably the low point, though, is when uh, Jamie tells us that uh, Michael transcends. He is evil. <laughs> it's like he's killing people to become, I don't know, a demigod or something. And again, this is not in the trailer. This is going outside the trailer. But from what I understand, because the script apparently has already been leaked, don't take that too literal. It does sound stupid. I mean, I, we have no clue what the hell that she's talking about or why she's saying this. So that sounds really laughable and really dumb. Don't don't worry. It's not literal. They're not going to make Michael, and I guess, into a some spiritual man-god thing. That's not what they're going to do. But that was really stupid and silly. And insofar as what we're getting, again, obviously they can't spoil too much. It just seems like, yeah, he's doing the usual rampage stuff. And, you know, he's walking slowly. Uh, I did think they went a little overboard in terms of the killing. I mean, we recognize Michael is a killer. But if you look carefully at the first film and the early films, yes, he had a body count, but it wasn't huge. He wasn't Jason. And they're still keeping him away from Jason Voorhees. I don't sense as much magic teleportation as I did with Halloween 2018. But it's coming very close, and it's not clear why. Now, Michael has always been a little bit mysterious. So even if you don't count the Thorn trilogy, why he kills is a little left up in the air. And they're keeping them not brother and sister, so it's unclear what his motivation is. Even now, like, what is he up to? Unclear, but I don't think they're doing enough with that mystery. They're just like, well, he's just going around destroying stuff. Just one nitpick I really was wondering about. If I remember correctly, his hands were messed up in the first film. So I'm wondering, wait, and I mean 2018, not the quote, literal first film of Halloween, right? Technically, two, 2018 is still a sequel. But in the 2018 one, his hands were messed up, if I remember correctly. And he's he is human, right? They do make clear he's human. Is he just an extraordinary human being? Because he's old. He's aged normally, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite getting how he has all this super strength or stamina, or how his hands healed. Is this going to be the same night? Are they going to skip a year? It's a lot of questions. It seems like it's con it seems like it is still the same night. Uh, it's a lot of question marks here, and obviously this is just supposed to tease us with a lot of great images. It looks great, but I'm still not being given a lot of confidence. The story is a much better story than 2018. Again, I am intrigued. I mean, it can't be any worse. They've kind of hit rock bottom with me, so I am hoping that this is at least average, hopefully above average, and that'll be something. But uh, yeah, you know, with a title like Halloween Kills, you're like, what does that mean? What's that about? It just seems like it seems like they're just putting on a lot of new paint, but it's still the same old thing. They're not really innovating. They're not really rethinking, but they're also not really keeping to the old mythology either. They're sort of just, I guess this is a variant Michael to match variant Loki in the MCU. It's like, okay, he's kind of like Michael, but he's not really Michael. So he's sort of like subpar Michael, but it's just given how bad sometimes Halloween is, it's like, well, if they, if they just go, go that far, it'll be fine. But mm, I'm hoping for a lot more. So does this sway me? Not really. Um... We've been here before. Why would he want to go back to his old home? What significance does it have? Hmm, we shall see. So yeah, some minor plot holes, but nothing major. Uh, yeah, some laugh out moments with him transcending stuff. How? Why? So, you know. But this Jamie, I'm not impressed by, nor some of the new women. Uh, they just seem to be filler to me. They're just like, okay, they're around. Hopefully they'll make a bigger impression, but so far I just don't care. I really don't care about most of this new cast. So it's really what Michael's doing and what happens to him and he does look great but i am still wondering where are we going with this with 2018 they didn't go anywhere so i hope they go somewhere at least but right now i am still unconvinced but it looks great
So the trail looks great. The music I did not find very interesting, but it looks great. So at least the cinematography is very powerful and the costume looks nice. Beyond that, I'm not very impressed. All right, this has been a non spoiler analysis of Halloween Kills and what lies ahead with Michael Myers. Thanks for listening.